Hey everyone, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue Again, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. As you can see, I have a little mini whole hog here, about 46 pounds. This is a viewer request from one of my viewers who asked me, Harry, what is the biggest hunk of meat you can cook in a pellet cooker that's about 36 inches long? Well, you're in luck because uh, I have the Weber smoke fire ready to go. We're going to prep this hog, a kind of a competition style using a top secret uh, injection that I'm going to show you. This one actually an award in the hog contest together with my Slappy Daddy award winning rubs. We're going to apply a little bit of a Slappy Daddy sauce at the end to show you guys how to convert a mini whole hog into hog perfection. In terms of the parts for the hog, this one is the ham and uh, I want to point your, your attention to the tenderloin. So these two pieces are the tenderloin, the, this is the uh, right and the left tenderloin. Uh, you want to make sure that you get some injection in the tenderloin. It's very very fragile muscle, easily overcooked. So you want to inject it so that it's full of injection and uh, fill it up with liquid. You see this one is swollen up, I'm going to shoot up the left. The other side one, the right hand side. So you want to make sure that the tenderloin doesn't get burned or overcooked. Also the rib part might also get overcooked. So I like to inject the tenderloin. So it's full of liquid. So puffs up. Stick it in. Inject it. Put your finger over the hole. And I'm going to inject the ham now. I injected the uh, shoulder where the Boston butt is, also the money muscle. Let's inject the ham part. I'm using about uh, six cups of injection for a 50 pound hog. And that should be up enough. You want to basically fill up the hog as much as you can with the liquid injection. It is a very sweet, salty, flavorful liquid. And uh, you can make many different kinds. If you don't want to make it, you can buy a commercially available pork injection. A lot of uh, comp teams use a commercially available pork injection. That also works. But I did this from scratch. Uh, there's nothing uh, in here that is uh, from a uh, bottle. This is made from scratch.
folks, uh, I have a little mod going. I'm gonna put a pan, a double foil pan underneath so that uh, I can catch some of the grease from the cook as well as I don't want the uh, hog to get too hot around the middle here. So just to recap, uh, I did a little hack here. We put the uh, pan underneath here so that I can keep the bottom here, which is the uh, ribs part so that it doesn't overcook or burn. The tenderloin is here. So we have the ham on the back end and the shoulder here exposed to the heat. But I want to keep the middle part here covered up. So. or so and uh, looking really fantastic here's the complete the whole hog on the smoke fire ex6 uh, not a e not a very tough cook pretty easy we just threw it in there let it sit and get happy we started at 275 degrees then after it started to brown I switch it down to 250 I wrap the ears and some of the parts that were brown and uh, this is the end result Took about about 10 hours or so to get to about 180 degrees, 85. I just pulled it because it felt very, very tender. Looks absolutely delicious and gorgeous. Now it's time for Mr. Beans, right? You want a piece, Mr. Beans? Sit. Sit. You ready? You want to try the whole hop cook on a smoke fire here? Here we go. Nom, 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 nom. It's very nice and tender, super delicious, right? Nice and smoky, salty, full of injection. All right, there you have it, Beans. Is that a good bite? A little bit of whole hog action going on here. If you like this video, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Let me know in your comments what you think about a whole hog on a smoke fire, whether it's something you want to try at home or not. You saw some of my tricks that I use, including elevating the whole hog onto the top rack, putting uh, five pieces of wood underneath to prop it up so it's easy to kind of handle. Also gives it another maybe two inches above the fire, uh, resulting in a very even cook. You can see the beautiful glaze here, absolutely gorgeous color. Hog. Are the superheroes of Diamond Bar who take care of the neighborhood. Uh, they got some slappy daddy love and uh, we got them some brisket. There's a whole hog in there also. I cook a whole hog. Wow. And uh, there's gonna be a LA style brisket and a Texas style brisket. So you got two kinds of brisket today. All right, man. Social okay. brisket. Enjoy, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank okay, you. cool. Thanks.